I'm Bill Ritchie, and I'm getting my paper ready before I start my demonstration, my test of the Halfwood Galleon number two. I'm tearing some newsprint uh, paper, and uh, I'll be spraying it with a sprayer to get it damp, and interleave it with good paper, a paper called Arches, a piece of newsprint and a piece of Arches, and then these all go into a damp book for later, later on. Hi, I'm Bill Ritchie, and I'm about to test Galleon number two. And I chose to use one of the most complicated pieces I ever did for this test. This is the end result. I made this about two years ago. And it's made from two plates. One is for Japanese-style water uh, woodblock printing. And so I have that block right here. And over here, I have the copper plate. And the copper plate was made using my silico uh, silicone transfer etching technique. There's a lot of hand engraving back in the background and some more. Now the plate is ready. I'll just clean up the edges a little bit. Then I'll move to the wood block. Then my sequence will be to print that block and then immediately follow with this plate. And if all goes well, we'll be done. We're testing the printing press, testing galleon number two. Every half wood press is tested before it goes to its owner. And that's what you're watching now. Now I'm ready to ink my wood block in the method they call sosakuhanga or mokuhanga. Those are Japanese words that refer to Japan to woodcut. The wood I'm using is Balkan birch. I'm using uh, an old piece of watercolor for my color on this one and a tiny bit of the paste. The paste keeps it from beating up the way water will. And I like that blended technique in Japanese called bokashi. I'll have to keep track of the fact that this part of my brush is blue. And the brushes have to be kept damp. For the ends of these two shapes here, which I am trying to get to look like scrolls, I'll use some burnt sienna watercolor. That's going to be plenty for these. And again, a little bit of paste. This is the first proof, and I'll be printing it on newsprint. Again, I have to be sure I remember where my color is on this brush. Now I'm ready to pull my first trial proof on newsprint. I'll use some of the newsprint that I've been using in my damp book. Paper goes down first, and then the block. feels a little bit too tight to me. That's what the first proof is for sometimes, is to test the pressure. Don't want to crush the wood block. Now to see it come off the press, I need to get to this side. Lift the block. Get it ready for the next. And this is the first trial proof. Just a drop of water, a little more color, 
I should have enough paste from the last proof, but I don't need to add any more paste. A little more water on the brush. I probably has dried out quite a bit. bad stuff there. Now I'm going to put this right back in the and warm the hot warm the plate. And while that's evening out in its warmth I'll take off the chase. set up the press for intaglio. First the sizing catcher, the thinnest blanket, felt blanket, and then the thickest one, the forming blanket, and finally the pusher, or the roller blanket. Now before I pull the proof, I write down the moment number. It's 1 over 6. This is the place I call speak on. The year 09, the month 09, the day 08, and the hour on a 13, uh, 24 hour clock is 13.06. There's the proof, and that completes the test of this galleon number two. And I'm Bill Ritchie. Thank you for watching.